Okay, uh, today I'm going to do uh, my first video, my first chess video. Um, if you guys like it, I'll keep doing them. Um, you can comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you like, what you don't like, and uh, I'll work on it. And if they become, you know, popular, I'll keep doing them. Uh, my first video, I'd like to show you uh, the ready system, which is uh, knight f3 and then c4. Um, that works against almost anything black does. Uh, their first two moves generally, knight f3 and then c4 will work against it. It's, it's extremely flexible opening and it's hyper modern, meaning you keep your center pawns back and attack from the wings. Um, the hyper modern school, as you may know, it, it advocates uh, a strong defense without showing your hand too much um, and keeping those pawn back those pawns back uh, will help keep you from having weaknesses which can be attacked. It's, they tend to be closed games but they can open up depending on the lines that are played. Uh, but it, it is a very solid opening closely related to the English opening um, popular to this day. It's just a good solid opening and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, for instance, okay, Knight f3 typical book line is d5 then you can go ahead and do c4 okay and this isn't a gambit because if they take which is part of the book the book line but just it, it's not too good for black at least not in my opinion if they take they're giving away a center pawn for a side pawn this pawn cannot be uh, held there's nothing that they can do to keep this pawn um, you just um, you do uh, knight a3 and they, they can't save the pawn even if you'll see weaker players doing this a lot trying to save this pawn and they'll uh, put their queen out here then you just do e3 double attacking it and they'll and they'll do um, and they'll do uh, b5 thinking that they're going to save it well uh, they can't can't be held on to once they take that Take that with check. Uh, then their best move is that, which would be surprising if they played that because they played such horrible moves leading up to it. And then you just, the queen's got to go somewhere. We'll put her here. And then, and the uh, the material's even. The position is not. White has a big advantage um, later on. Um, depending on what they do, let's see. Let's say they do that. You can, you have a very strong very strong attack with your bishops here and your pawn structure is still solid they've got two isolated pawns here it's just very bad for black we'll go back to the beginning again. okay another thing you'll see commonly is either c6 or d6 Either one will, will try c6 first. For a while at least, uh, they have similar lines for a while. You just go ahead and do b3, supporting that c pawn, with the idea that you're going to uh, uh, put a pawn, put a bishop on b2, and Vianchetto, your other bishop, and have those hypermodern bishops out there. Uh, we'll follow the book for a little bit, and you'll, you'll get the general idea of it. And then, as co what's common, you'll see a lot when you have this kind of open fianchetto here on the queen side. You go ahead and instead of putting your knight out uh, on c3, you just do d3, and then knight on d to b2, and uh, you're well on your way to a pretty nice setup here. Um, in this position, I like to oops. That's good. We'll get to that in a second. I like to move my bishops here. They can end up stacked. I generally, um, in this this kind of position, I'll uh, I'll end up putting my bishop on c2, and then you know you can stack them, and yeah, you, know, you can move your queen around. Now, when they do a5, it's important uh, to do a3. When they move that a pawn, you need to move that a3 out because you don't want them to come down to um, to a6 without that structure there that you, that you see um, because if they do eventually push a6 you just do b4 
and your pawns are it's a solid setup still. Um, it's important to keep in mind is general rule in the ready when they're pushing the A pawn you need to do A3. Don't don't go past A3 just A3 and get ready to prepare for B4 after A6. Um, follow the line a little bit more and um, what you'll see a lot is just you know queen there and I can move the other rook there and have them stacked and um, it's a solid setup uh, not you don't have any pawn weaknesses or anything and it's not overly passive it's something that's also hyper modern but too can sometimes be too passive in the opening the king's indian defense this is um, or rather the king's indian attack um, that this is staking your claim to the center it's just not waiting for pieces to come at you but it's it's not creating any weaknesses either that's what's uh, so great about the ready um, and we'll go to the um, we'll try the D the um, the D6 line and it's it's similar for a while you do B3 and then we'll go back to the book um, again that bishop on B2 and you're going to get ready to fianchetto now here you'll see um, things change a little bit um, when they start threatening to do e5 you don't want that that pawn structure coming down here they're going to do knight to c6 and um, you don't want that that long pawn chain coming down it, it'll just squeeze you in so get ready to prepare to fight that um, you can castle or do e3 um, but eventually you, you do want to do e3 here knight 6 is going to come uh, you want to do e3 you're not just going to let them come down and um, oh I said e5 before I should have said d, uh, d4 uh, I got my squares mixed up um, and here um, you know it's it's wide open but you're not just letting them come down unchecked uh, with with that pawn chain, you're doing things to uh, try and circumvent to to undermine it. Uh, you don't want to be too passive. Uh, one more thing, I'll go over. Um, let's see when they try that. Um, when they push it, when they push the pawn, when they do that, that's a similar type thing where the, right away they're going to be threatening pawn chains or a pawn chain. So you just do B4 that kind of counteract c5 and then you'll see f6 they're gonna you know they really want this pawn chain um, you want to do e3 again get ready for it uh, and there it is and uh, you can do queen b3 and uh, they'll generally give you a pawn temporarily if this is if this is a player that's uh, tends to know what he's doing this is what you see amongst high rated players it's, it's pretty good line for black and uh, what they're doing is pushing to c5 pushing to c5 they're giving you that pawn temporarily but they're doing that so uh, they can put that knight out there on c6 without it uh, being bothered uh, by a pawn push so you'll see that this comes out here and um, you can go a lot of different ways from here but uh, it's uh, you haven't let them just squeeze you uh, that's very very important in the ready you have to be very mindful of black uh, trying to create these pawn chains to squeeze you in you can't be too passive you want to have a nice uh, defensive structure but if you're if you're too passive they'll just run all over you and um, uh, I think next we'll do um, a um, an example game 